What's up you guys, today I'm going to show you how you can fix a leaking oil pan. Start by draining your oil. Remove your oil filter. Remove any plastics that are in the way. Remove this bracket held on by 10 mm bolts. Insert a 16 mm wrench into the tensioner pulley and turn counterclockwise to remove tension on the belt. Then you can remove the belt from the AC pulley and put it off to the side. Remove this bolt that holds the AC compressor to a bracket. Remove the bracket. You can now start removing all of the oil pan bolts. Once all of the bolts have been removed, insert a plastic wedge between the oil pan and the block to start prying it off. Be careful because this lip bends easily and you don't want a warped oil pan. You can give it a few taps all around to help break the gasket. It does take a while, but be patient so you don't damage anything. Gasket material will be left behind. You have to scrape it all off, if not, the new one won't seal properly and it's gonna leak again. I noticed my oil pickup had a lot of debris and it turned out to be little rubber pieces from the old gasket. So I made sure to clean it all off. I also ran a magnet on it to see if I picked up any metal flakes. Fortunately, I found none whatsoever. Next, you have to scrape the gasket off the oil pan itself. A lot of rubber pieces are gonna fall into the oil pan, so make sure you clean that out. That's probably how I got so much debris in my oil pickup. Whoever installed the oil pan last did a poor job. When bolting down the oil pan, you want to do it in a cross pattern to avoid warping it, because that will cause leaks. Since there's so many bolts, it is easy to lose track of the ones you've tightened down already. So what I do is label them in the order I want to tighten them down. It doesn't really matter where you start, as long as it's kind of in a cross pattern. So I've got one here, two here, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. There was a dent in my oil pan that I didn't like, so I went ahead and pushed it out. This is pretty easy, just take a piece of wood and hammer it out. I didn't exactly have a piece of wood, so this is what I used. Mitsubishis don't really use pre-made oil pan gaskets like other cars. You have to make your own. And this Permatex The Right Stuff is indeed the right stuff to use. Apply it on the inside line of the oil pan as per service manual instructions. It has to be between 3 to 6 millimeters thick. I went a little bit thicker than I would have wanted to, but I'm still within spec. Everything's nice and clean. We can now go ahead and install the oil pan. Sit it perfectly where it goes, being careful not to touch anything else. Hold it in place and start installing your bolts. Install the bolts that go under this bracket. We can now start tightening the bolts in the order we wrote down more or less. I'm using the drill just to thread them on snug. Then I will tighten them all properly by hand. I don't recommend you use an impact on this. You will probably over torque them and maybe even strip some. Double check that all the bolts under the bracket are tight, then install the bracket. Bolt on your AC compressor to the bracket. Reinstall your serpentine belt. Reinstall these brackets that hold the AC lines. Reinstall any plastics you removed. A 
According to these instructions, you can immediately put your car back to use. But I personally like to let the gasket dry for 24 hours just to be safe. Once the 24 hours are up, I install a new oil filter. Make sure the oil drain plug is tight. Fill it up with new oil and you're done. 